Okay, going live. We're live. Okay, yeah. great. So here we are, we're live celebrating the release of my EP Syzygy and Lauren Scott's new album, Sea of Stars. So hello everyone and thank you so much yeah, for good joining evening. us. Thank <laughs> you for joining us. I'm Lauren Scott. I'm delighted to be here on Amy Turk's channel. Um, thank you for coming. <laughs> Amy, Amy's doing a fantastic job. Amy is in charge of all the wonderful tech which is in front of us, which you can't see which is um, incredibly complicated. <laughs> I, I have one job, and my one job is to monitor the chat. So if you've got a question for us, or you just want to say hello, where you're from, if you're having a refreshing beverage, what drink you're having, anything like that, please pop it into the chat, and that's my job to do that. Lovely. So, have we got all the introductions sorted out? We I, have. I believe so. Yeah, we've so, said why we're here. We're so yes, we housekeeping. We're going to do a mixture of playing live, um, playing tracks and chatting. Yep. And you're going to play first. Yes, start. yeah, I am going to start things off. So uh, to begin the stream, I am going to perform Courage, which in addition to being the first track on my Syzygy EP, which just came out on Friday, um, it's also the first ever uh, percussive harp track that I ever wrote. So um, we'll switch over the audio now and um, I hope you enjoy.
Well, I was told not to clap. <laughs> that was Thank amazing. You. So, for, I mean, sitting really close up to you and watching you doing that was yeah. absolutely astounding. Thank I don't you. know how you do. Or, I mean, I've seen you do all this stuff amazing, but it, up close, it's it really is astonishing. Thank you. So, well done. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, it's nice for me to get that out of the way because obviously um, there's a, a huge technical um, element to playing that. So yeah. I'm, well, quite, you, I'm quite you, pleased you relax, to have done relax it first, now, relax so now. now I can, I can um, get my oh, heart rate and back we have to so much chat; it's amazing. Oh, amazing. Um, before we get into, I'll I'll go through some of the chat. Okay. I imagine a lot of people are saying, "What is Syzygy? The name of your <laughs> out, your EP? Perhaps you could." Okay, right. Um, yeah, Syzygy. Um, I can't really remember how I came across the word, but. Um, Syzygy, it had two meanings that really, um, really felt appropriate to me and um, were, were really interesting to me. Firstly, in, um, in astronomy, Syzygy is the straight line configuration of three planets. Usually it refers to the, um, the sun, the moon and the earth, but it can be any celestial bodies. Um, and because I because I use sort of planetary symbols in um, some of the kind of concept art and, the, and that side of Syzygy, that seemed like a really, um, really nice kind of way to tie that in. Um, the fact that it's three celestial bodies also, obviously it's three songs mm -hmm. and I had three symbols that represented the songs. So there were lots of threes. Mm -hmm. So that seemed to make sense as well. But then also I discovered that in psychology, and I think this comes from um, Carl Jung, uh, Jungian kind of um, uh, branch of uh, philosophy, psychology, um, syzygy it's to do with um, the integration of the self um, and so that was kind of you know I read all about it and I just thought oh well I know it's an unusual word but this is this is perfect mm. and so that's how it became syzygy fantastic <laughs> we've got some amazing chat I just um, very quickly trying so so many people here that we know and thank you so much for joining us um, I just want to give a shout out to Hamish and Sue who say they're at T-Bay Services. <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> and it's on their wedding anniversary. So Aww. thank you for joining us. Happy That's anniversary. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Um, what are we going to talk about next? We've got a kind of script, so we're going to try, yeah. try and stick to that. Well, we, I, I've had a bit of attention now, so I think given that this is a, a joint celebration of both my EP and your album, we ought to talk about your fantastic new album, thank Sea of you. Stars. Congratulations. Thank you. And... Um, you were going to tell us a bit about the uh, about the track listing. Yes, and what, yes. What stuff you've got? Because on the album. Um, got my lovely shiny shiny album, <laughs> um, beautifully produced by Abbey Records with with a fantastic bright pink CD, which is That's amazing. Um, yes, there's twelve <laughs> tracks on the album, and they they're very different in style. Um, they're some of my own comp compositions. Um, sorry, I can't see with my glasses on. Um, <laughs> some arrangements. Um, so there's traditional music, but there's also original music. Uh, there's a beautiful piece written for me by Grace Evangeline Mason called Glass Cathedrals. There's some J.S. Bach, um, Rudiger Oppermann, which harpists will probably know. Yeah. Amazing German multi-instrumentalist. He's got a great piece on their breathing. Lovely piece. And Monica Stadler. I mean, I had to include something by Monica. Um, yeah, and then an arrangement that my um, husband did of The Wayfaring Stranger, which I kind of rearranged for solo harp. So it's a real mix of things, um, but I really thought about the, um, the, the arc of the journey of the music. So very often, if you have a playlist, you're listening to individual tracks, whereas um, with an album or as a performer, um, you, you do think of the whole kind of journey, the musical journey. So... Um, that's what I've really done with the album. So you may listen to one thing, it's not all that kind of style of music. That's a lot of rambling. Well, um, but also um, with Glass Cathedrals, you just released a, um, a video with some beautiful visualisations. Yeah, oh, yes, so of course. So you can check that out. Is that yes. on your YouTube channel? That's on my YouTube channel. Uh, so and and um, I, I used um, images from Grace Evangeline's painting, which she kindly let me use. And she does a lot of um, beautiful uh, paintings to accompany all her compositions. So I was really... Um, touch that she allowed me to use that image which is beautiful for, yeah. specifically for that piece that's wonderful yeah music and images together is oh, yeah. always always a good Great one <laughs> so we're going to um play one of my tracks from the album now yeah. aren't we um yeah. and maybe we'll talk about the video a bit later yeah yeah um but this is an arrangement of an irish hymn and um it's called be thou my vision
All right. Yeah. Well, may I just say what a fabulous arrangement of these are. Thank you. Thank you. Um, And I saw in the chat, uh, Anita, you were saying about arranging that for ensemble. And um, (laughs) yes, I will certainly add that to the list. Um, I'd love to play that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. So as you can see, the the video was uh, filmed in... Um, oh God, the name of the church escapes me momentarily. Beautiful church in Congleton with that lovely stained glass window. And um, I was very pleased and honoured, Amy, that you said that you'd help me with the videoing and Amy filmed and edited and produced the video, which you can kind of tell by well, how you're... Yeah, I, it, was a, it was a team effort because I have, um, I have a cameraman that helps me with a lot of my... Um, a lot of my videos, particularly location stuff. Mm. Shout out to John, because I know you were there in the chat, John. Um, yeah, John and I filmed uh, mm. the video with Lauren um, and then I did the editing. And oh, it was it was such a pleasure. It's it's lovely um, to have worked with you on that side mm. of, of promoting the release. And uh, what better job than editing such beautiful footage of such a wonderful performance. Yeah, thank you. It was a real eye opener working with you and actually perhaps we should kind of just say how we met because we've only known each other for less than a year I do yeah. believe it is well, I'd heard of you of course what have we heard of each other we hadn't actually met in person yeah. um but I met you after a gig and then we were chatting and it turns out that you only live 20 minutes away from me so we were kind yeah. of like let's get together let's meet and we decided we had these releases that we thought well let's do them together um, and sort of help each other and collaborate with the, obviously you're releasing your thing, I'm releasing my thing, but it's really nice to work together. Because I think mm. as a solo artist, especially an independent solo artist, it can be quite a lonely and difficult road to do. So to yeah. have that kind of being able to work with each other and <laughs> kind of say, should we do this, should we do that? It's, that's been really, really good to do. Absolutely. I mean, you've motivated me so much, you know, to get to today and to have all mm. of this, uh, have all of this stuff lined up and released and everything. And I, I was yeah. saying to you, um, earlier you always think of different things to me yeah. so being able to have a buddy to chat yeah, to and just absolutely. be like have you thought of this absolutely. and that, you know where but, are you at and I think it, with your work it's really your attention to detail really shows I mean that shows with the videoing and it shows with this amazing studio <laughs> of yours um and and the backdrop is is stunning I think you're going to do you're going to talk about that sometime with your videos aren't you yeah um well I can talk about a, a little bit about what this is um behind us now but um perhaps we can talk about it a bit more in depth later because this this set it's kind of now my my default set for my studio I've spent about the last year getting this this room decorated and sort of set up so it is exactly how I want it to be for videos and for um, session recording and that kind of thing but basically what you see behind you um, with some lovely splashes of, of colour from some lights on it is um, a sort of an installation that I created out of uh, white paper cardstock so um, I call it the paper flower garden um, and it is it's a lot of foliage and um, paper flowers that I um, that I made um, and I've stuck to um, these sort of fabric uh, baffles I guess that are on the on the corners of the of the walls there and that was all in aid of having this final reveal at the end of my video for Power the last song on the Syzygy EP um, so it's about yeah 300 sheets of cardstock <laughs> went into the making of this and, and many many hours of work many hours of hot glue gun yes gun action. Um, <laughs> it's not just flowers though I mean I don't know whether you can see but there's, there's ferns and um, there's some um, flowers of Birds of Paradise flowers. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's absolutely amazing to see, and <laughs> and with the light catching and everything, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's really good fun. I'm I'm so pleased with how it's turned out, especially with the lights on it, because you get all those shadows and everything. It's um yeah, it's a it's been a real labour of love. Oh, and I should say as well, actually, the inspiration for um this backdrop came from an exhibition that I went to at the V and A Museum in London. They hosted um a Christian Dior exhibit in 2019, and um, this incredible. A company called Wanda uh, made this installation for um, one of the sections of the exhibit with white paper flowers, um, primarily sort of roses and wisteria and stuff. And so that was actually the inspiration for this. Um, there are some pictures of that on the VNA website, actually, if you want to check out what the inspiration for this actually looked like. It's pretty incredible. So, um, so yeah, that's the story of that. So should we have another track from your EP? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, I think we're going to play, yeah, this is the second track on the EP um, called Wisdom. And I've made a, a special sort of uh, 
um, official audio kind of video for this stream of wisdom, which features uh, a bunch of footage that we took when we went to do the video shoot of the mother pool at Carnglaze Caverns. Um, which is the most incredible place that you can go and visit. It's a it's a fantastic tourist attraction um, and they have a cafe and all that jazz. Um, and we went there last year and filmed all this footage and, and I was so captivated by the, the water droplets um, in the mother pool um, down in the caverns and the wonderful sound um, of the water droplets. So here is wisdom.
So that was Wisdom uh, with that wonderful water droplet footage in the background uh, filmed at the mother pool at Carnglaze Caverns in Cornwall where I shot the video for Wisdom. Uh, if you're ever visiting Cornwall I highly recommend it. It is the most gorgeous place and it was so peaceful and wonderful being down there in the caverns filming. So, um, so yeah, do check that out if you're ever in that neighbourhood. And um, we're absolutely loving the chat. Thank you so much for that. Um, and someone has said that the the church that we filmed in earlier was Trinity Methodist Church in Congleton. So thank you for that. Um, and yeah, I'm just picking up Anita. Hello, Anita, my lovely, Anita. lovely Anita. Um, You're saying about being supportive. It's really important to be supportive of each other. And I think that is really important. Um, yeah. I mean, I know times are hard for, 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 for everyone. But I think obviously since the pandemic, it has been really, really hard for musicians and artists. And um, I think the more we can reach out and just be supportive or there's just simple things like, you know, just liking some liking posts on social media or following someone yeah. or buying CDs or yeah, something like absolutely. that. It actually really does make a huge difference. Um, can I can I do my streaming rant? Um, <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> so um, um, being of a certain age where, you know, obviously, you know, I can see produce CDs and then everything goes to streaming. Um, it's really noticeable how since everyone has gone to streaming, just how much that has really financially affected musicians. So I, I don't want to go into too much of a political rant, um, but it, it has really hollowed out, I think, the music um, industry, because obviously the big players, the super big players, they'll always get the money. But as it trickles, you, there's that thing, isn't it, that all boats rise with, with, with the kind of the rising flood sort of thing but it doesn't with streaming. Um, and that money just doesn't trickle down to artists. So I think if you like an artist um, and you you stream, which is absolutely fine, please don't consider sort of buying some merch or something like mm. that, because actually it's got to that stage where if we sold T-shirts, we'd probably make more money from the T-shirts, wouldn't mm. we? But, but uh, it's also putting a putting a positive swing on it. It's a wonderful thing to hold um, a CD in your hands, you know, by an artist because yeah, you you get to to see all the beautiful artwork and read the booklet and, and have a physical things. thing, yeah. that, you know, that is a record of of that wonderful yeah. achievement that you have that and you, you can share with you people. You will be bringing out hard copies of your yeah. EP in due course, won't yeah, you? Absolutely, I yeah, absolutely, I will. Which will be fantastic. Yeah, I can't wait to have those in my hands yes. either. <laughs> So, so, so what, getting back to the script, what were we supposed to be Well, about? actually, there's quite a lot Ooh, going on chats. in the chat, isn't there? Because yeah, um, we've got a couple of uh, couple of messages in the chat from the lounge bar in Alton. Um, thank you so much uh, for joining us. The lounge bar in Alton are hosting us for one of our upcoming shows where we're going to be playing mm. um, bits from Syzygy and bits from your new album um, together. And that's on the 16th of May. So if you are in Hampshire or in that sort of neck of the woods and you can make it to that show, then please do. Yeah, and, uh, there's a yeah. Link, link in the description. Yeah, isn't there's there? a link in the description where you can see all the live shows that we're going to be doing in May to support these these new releases. So yeah, yeah, fantastic. Do join us if you can and uh, shout out to the lounge bar. Absolutely. So, um, yes. So what was next? On the script. On the script. Which <laughs> yeah. I the next thing on the script, and this is a great one because we have a number of people in the chat who performed on your album. Yes. Well, um, so... I'm so thrilled that you could join us. So, so yes, I have some guests. So um, whereas my first album was just, just me playing, oh, it was such a thrill to be able to invite people to come and join me on this one. So um, as, as well as the solo pieces, I'm doing a couple of duets. Um, and I was thrilled to have Keziah Thomas join me. Um, on brilliant, one of the, which I was just amazing and and my lovely friend Alex Ryder a massive shout out to Alex um, so I'm really so thrilled that I could do those duets with them and also uh, a quartet I mean my goodness it just it's amazing so for the quartets I was joined by Elizabeth Bass Alex Ryder um, and then the wonderful Eleanor Turner <laughs> Ellie <laughs> Um, so yes, yeah, so I was really thrilled that they could join me on this next piece, which we're going to queue up and play in a minute. Yep. Um, so it's an original piece I wrote called The Sun and Her Flowers, and it's for prepared harp quartet. Um, so what that means is there are things prepared on the harp, there are additions. 
So in this case, for this piece, there's paper woven through the strings and there is also some coils wrapped around some of the strings. Um, and what that does is it gives the effect of like buzzing bees and nature. And that's what I wanted to create with this. But also, we're not, as well as those effects, we're also doing uh, a little bit of light percussion, not the effect that you're doing um, <laughs> with your percussion, but we're kind of sort of stroking the soundboard. So you'll hear this kind of swooshing noise. And th again, that's supposed to sort of evoke the sun rising over some sunflowers and that sort of thing. Um, but the swooshing noises is us just sort of rubbing our hands on the soundboard. Which is a side point that I've just thought of. Uh -huh. What's really interesting about both of our music mm. is how we don't just play the the strings. <laughs> we both <laughs> play kind. Of, we both like to make use of the whole body of the instrument, don't we? To yeah. create the sounds. Well, I mean, I, I think we're we're both very much in agreement that the the harp is just such a versatile mm. instrument when it comes to creating. A, a, a huge array of different sounds and effects and you know it's it's a hollow bodied mm. wooden instrument why not make the, the the best use of all of it Absolutely. because touching any part of the yeah. heart creates resonance yeah. and there are just so many ways that you can explore um yeah. explore effects with it so mm. yeah i mean it, it's it's a lot more versatile than people realize because you can do amazing things on the strings mm. but there's so much more yeah so much more Great stuff. So, so should we queue it up? So, yeah, let's so do it. this is the sun and her flowers.
<laughs> so so I'm so you, at the start, <laughs> right at the start of that, I said I had one job. I actually had two jobs. And my <laughs> second job was to press the unmute button. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew that we were not going to get through this without me messing well, up royally that's somehow. Fine. We, we got it. It's fine. We caught so it. So shall we, shall we, we kind of rewind about yeah, that? Yeah, so, rewind. So, <laughs> so rewinding, what I said before I, I forgot to press the unmute button was a huge thank you to Ellie, Alex and Elizabeth for joining me on that. Yep. And yep. then we were talking about collaborating. Yes. And you were saying... In the spirit of Harpists supporting Harpists, which we are all about um, here in the UK, well, and all over the world, now that we're all posting on social media and sharing and collaborating globally, we are going to have support from student Harpists um, performing like a spotlight before our sets at all of our shows that we're going to be performing um, in May. So... At our first show at the Lounge Bar in Alton on the 16th of Sorry, May. I can't believe I forgot to press the unmute button. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my God. It's, it's the least bad thing that could have yeah. happened. You know, and we've gotten through 40 minutes without doing anything else silly. So don't worry about Sorry. it. Sorry. <laughs> Slightly hysterical. Okay. Yeah, 16th of May in, um, in Alton, we are going to be um, supported by some lovely students from B Dales School and also, I believe, some students from Southampton University. Um, and then uh, our London concert, that's the 17th of yep. May, isn't it? For our London concert, we're going to be supported by students from Trinity Laban. Uh, and then on the 19th of May, which is our concert in Manchester, we're going to be supported by harpists from um, the Royal Northern College of Music. So we're really excited to be able to yeah. bring in more harpists Pro provide that and, platform. and uh, yeah. Yeah, share the love. So um, we have got um, a link for that, I think we mentioned earlier in the chat. Um, and we're kind of trying to sell tickets in advance rather than on the door because yeah. we've kind of got limited get in time. So if you were thinking about coming, it would be fantastic if you could. Um, buy the tickets online in yeah. advance. So, so uh, there's a link in the description um, which will take you to um, it's a Bands in Town page, isn't mm -hmm. it? With um, the dates and all the information for getting tickets to our show. So, if you'd like to come and see us performing in yeah. Alton, London, or Manchester in May, please do get your tickets. So, what's next? What's next? <laughs> um, okay, so um, next, I think, is we're going to see one of your videos. Oh, yeah. Um, we were also going to talk about um, oh, some other stuff to yes. do with videos. Gosh, you know, you can't take me anywhere. I'm absolutely <laughs> useless. Can't press the button, can't read the script. Oh, come um, on, let's <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. So, um, it was a really interesting experience working with you in, on the videos. Um, and um, as a result, it's great because I've suddenly got a, a much higher video um, viewer um, count on my videos. Mm. And I just hope they're not going to be dreadfully disappointed with my not so good quality <laughs> videos afterwards um but i think as it was it's a really interesting process working with you because you are so thorough mm. quite rightly and your attention to detail is um amazing and as a result you have these absolutely stunning um videos but i think you you're going to offer that out to other harpists aren't you yeah if, sure. if they want to if you want to work with amy <laughs> For on your own music videos although I do have to warn you you do have to work hard don't think it's going to be an easy process she works you hard <laughs> well yeah it's, it was a really interesting yeah, process doing that with you because um I haven't I haven't actually made a music video for another harpist mm. before and obviously it's a process that I know really well from doing it for myself um but it's a different kind of responsibility when when you're doing it for somebody else and you're representing mm. somebody else um in that way but yeah, I mean, you talk about attention to detail. To me, that's kind of that's all the fun stuff mm. about it. Is you know, looking for um, looking for ways that you can bring the sound and the visuals together so that it it kind of presents the the music in in the most appropriate way possible and the most exciting way possible to be able to tell the story that mm. you're telling. So, of course, with Be Thou My Vision, it it made complete sense for um, for us mm. to go to a church and choosing a church with such amazing modern architecture mm. and those gorgeous windows with all the colours and everything um, that was wonderful because it was a very simple setup mm. that allowed you to be the focus but having a, a really stunning yeah. backdrop and there's a second video which I haven't actually released That's in full true. yet and I'll probably do that in a couple of weeks because yeah. it's just been 
a little bit going on this week. And that one, actually, um, as much as I, I loved um, working on Be Thou My Vision, I enjoyed working on mm. your video for Sea of Stars even more. That was good fun. Because we, we did a lot more set dressing yeah. for that one, didn't we? And that was just, oh, it was such a fun day. Um, it's incredible, really, what you could do just with a backdrop and some mm. lights. If you've really got a, if you've got a mission statement for you know what you want to achieve, there are lots of ways that you can sort of do mm. it um, very very cleverly and and not at great expense. Mm. And so that's always fun as well. That's sort of that problem solving bit of it and the yep. and the the set dressing bit of it that I I love getting my teeth into and that was the same when we did our video for take on me mm. because we did that um in a similar sort of a way you really um provided a lot of the props for that one and it was your idea for it to have that yeah. kind of cozy hugger that was that, kind was, of that was nice and that was just really really good fun because um yeah we we just found lots of little details and, and secreted things around the place so it looked like we yeah. were in a sort of a wonderful fluffy cozy landscape <laughs> so yeah no that is a side of it that i that i do really enjoy and it's i'm a just going to jump into a chat oh, someone yeah. said someone's asking does the clock work <laughs> and and it does that's a really <laughs> that's a great observation yes um so the, the clock does work and the reason why it's stuck at six o'clock right now um, is because I took I took the battery out because it clicks very loudly half of the time. Every sort of four ticks, it clicks really loudly and then it clicks really quietly for another four and then back again. Um, so when I'm doing session recording, um, I take the battery out so that it's not ticking um, on my recordings. And um, after I took the battery out, it just happened to be stuck on six o'clock. And I have a bit of a thing about um, six o'clock because I really love Alice in Wonderland. A lot of my kind of visual style that I use for my branding um, as well as in my in my personal life in general has stuff to do with Alice in Wonderland because I love surrounding myself with that stuff. So six o'clock is when the Hatter has his tea. And because it was stuck on six o'clock, quite by coincidence, I thought I would just leave it like that because I rather liked how it looked and I wanted to have the clock in the background of the end of my video for Power, the last uh, song on, on Syzygy. Um, and so I haven't, I just haven't put the battery back in. So that's that's the backstory behind the clock. It's really just a, um, a sort of a vain aesthetic thing that it's stuck on six o'clock, but it's also a leftover from, um, from shooting the final section of the Power video, which if you've seen, um, arrives at the very end um, in my studio. So um, shall we play that video now, actually? And, and I'm going to carefully yeah. operate the mute button. <laughs> yeah, time. okay, I'll, okay, I'll double check when we come back that it's <laughs> unmuted. Okay, so this is um, the video for Power, which just came out and premiered on YouTube yesterday.
So that was the video for Power, which, as I was saying, arrives at the very end in this very studio with my paper flower garden on the walls. Um, that was a really, uh, that was a real labour of love, making that video with the three locations. Um, and I think it's probably the most ambitious video that, um, that I've ever made in terms of the, the setting and everything. So um, I'm very proud of that one and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, as I was saying, that um, that song is the final song on my Syzygy EP, but one thing um, that I forgot to say at the beginning, which is very important um, after I performed Courage, is that um, for the last month or so, I have been collecting profits from sales of Courage, that is sales on Bandcamp, uh, streams on Spotify and other streaming services and things, and also my ad revenue from the video of Courage on YouTube. Um, all of my profits from Courage uh, for the last month until the 23rd of April, which is um, in a few days time, all of those profits will be going to domestic abuse charities um, and 75% of my profits will be going to Refuge um, via Work for Good. So Refuge is a uh, domestic abuse charity here in the UK who help women and children fleeing domestic abuse situations. So if um, that is a cause that you want to support, and I really encourage you to support that, then please do watch Courage on YouTube, download it from Bandcamp, um, or listen to it, uh, stream it or download it on a music service of your choice. There are links in the description to where you can do that, so please do support this vital cause. What's next? Um, thank you so much for joining us. It's been absolutely lovely and and i can't say how thrilled we are with all with all the chat it's yeah i'm sorry we amazing. can't i'm sorry we can't respond to more of it um but that's absolutely um wonderful there was a question about whether your music could be played on lever oh, Heart. oh right yes what um, do you reckon? there's somebody in the chat talking yeah. about what could power be performed on a lever yeah. Heart. well it's an interesting thing actually um I love playing the pedal harp and I've got a kind of a setup where I know where I want my percussion on the pedal harp but actually my my songs for Syzygy they're not hugely pedally there's not mm. loads and loads of pedal work because I do so much um, with the body of the harp um, and kind of going back and forth from percussion to strings that actually um, I, I don't do too much footwork mm. so I think my brain would explode if I had to do so, so I think maybe down the line I, th I think there the are harp. there are ways that you could yeah. adapt that music the, the biggest thing with power particularly is that it uses the full range of the harp so there's a particular mm. bit in the middle where I'm using the low C the very lowest string on the pedal harp and that kind of thing so you might have an issue there with the lever heart but it, it's 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 stuff that probably could be adapted yeah um so because there's no reason why you can't play um harp percussion on a lever harp as well mm. they're, they're both equally capable of that so you'll be publishing the music for this yes. later this year anyway yeah, so yeah the sheet for music for, for the pedal harp yeah sheet music for all all of the the songs yeah. on syzygy will will be coming out soon as well yeah yeah so yeah. We'll, we'll see about that down the line but absolutely you can do harp percussion on a lever harp and uh, yeah do it <laughs> power to you <laughs> absolutely so we probably need to get a move on because yeah. we're chatting quite a lot yes. um so what we're going to do now is we're going to play my duo sea of stars um to end with and then we'll come back and have a very quick bit of chat at the end um i should probably say what the piece is about obviously mm -hmm. it's the title track of my album um it was it's written sp specifically that's a word i can't say um <laughs> for lever harp and pedal harp and the reason being is 
the lever harp is a very different sound world to the pedal harp and this piece is all about bioluminescent plankton <laughs> as 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 you as you do um so i really like the way it kind of sparkles so that's the sea of stars is is, is the kind of uh, the phosphorescing again mm. another word i can't quite say um the phosphorescing <laughs> of, of all these different lights and the sea creatures um and what you'll see is we're doing lots of different special effects mm. to create that kind of slightly out of kilter kind of sound world which is deliberate so um if you imagine like the maldives late at night with the seas are just shimmering that's the kind of sound world that we're trying to um do with that mm. and you've got some percussion in sea of stars as well yeah. haven't you and yeah. and you do some really interesting writing with harmonics in sea of stars which yeah. i'd never done before i yeah I learned the there's a knack. part for this there's which a is, um, yeah really exciting I, I really enjoyed the challenge of getting my teeth into and yeah making that work. yeah it's really good stuff it's it's kind and of... you've got a music video as we were talking about earlier we've got a music video for sea of stars which which you've done and yeah. that'll be coming out um when when i when i kind of recover from this week <laughs> Um, so next week maybe? probably <laughs> so make sure that you subscribe to lauren's youtube channel so that you are the first to see her amazing new video for sea of stars which is a great performance and some fun lighting evoking all those um wonderful images of um bioluminescent plankton so shall we play shall it, we do it? yeah shall we do it?
Okay, we did it. We did it. Yay! Oh, we survived I the live stream. Playing that piece, but it's such a responsibility <laughs> playing your music and yeah. just trying to do it as best I can. Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Great oh. stuff. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so. Oh, this is so lovely. Everyone's oh, so um, sweet. Yeah. What else do we need to Tiny say? Tiny things to say. Um, so we've got <laughs> streaming links in the chat. Oh, yes. And, and, in the uh, description. In the description. All the links to stream and buy <laughs> Sea of Stars and Syzygy are in the description of this video, wherever you want to consume your audio. And also, um, as we were talking about earlier, do consider um, buying physical copies of Lauren's, um, Lauren's album because it is a fabulous thing to hold in your hands. Very beautiful. And, and then you can stick it in the car or um, wherever else you use CDs. So, yeah. Great stuff. And All you'll that. have yours coming out soon. Yes, this yeah, and uh, I'll be posting about that on um, on social media and here and everywhere else, I'm sure. So Great. Thank you so much, everyone, thank for you. joining us. It's been really, really nice to just have today after the madness leading up to uh, absolutely leading up to both of these releases yeah, to yeah. just go. We did it. We're here. We did it. We released our our music. We're um, gonna yeah. go and have a, a G and T now. So, yeah. But thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. And thank have you a good very evening. Much.